Hi everyone and welcome back to the Machine Learning on Raspberry Pi series. This is the final video in this series and in this video, I'll show you how you can make your object detection model run much faster on your Raspberry Pi by using the Google Coral HTPU. HTPU is a small chip created by Google that is built specifically to run machine learning models and make it run much faster than a general purpose CPU. You can connect an HTPU to your device using a variety of Google Coral accelerators. It can be either an USB device or a Coral dev board that is similar to a Raspberry Pi but with an HTPU attached to it. Or several other form factors for integrating it into custom built hardware. And here's how fast the HTPU is compared to the Raspberry Pi CPU. On the left hand side, this is the Raspberry Pi 4 running the Action Dead Light Zero Android figurine detection model. And on the right hand side, it's the same model on the same Raspberry Pi 4, but with an HTPU connected to the device. You can see that the frame rate is about three times higher just by using the HTPU. Now, let me show you how to use the HTPU. If you want your TensorFlow model to run faster on your Raspberry Pi, you can connect a Google Coral USB oscillator to your Pi. Inside the USB oscillator, there's an HTPU that can make your model run much faster. One important thing to keep in mind when you connect a Google um, Coral USB oscillator to your Pi is that you must make sure that you connect it to the USB 3 port. That's the port with the blue color inside the port, as you can see here. Raspberry Pi 3 and older Raspberry Pi device don't have an USB uh, 3 port. So you will still get some speed up by connecting a Coral USB oscillator to it, but it will be limited by the USB 2 transfer speed. There are three steps to run an object detection model or any tensorflow light model on HTPU. First, you will need to compile the TensorFlow Lite model using the HTPU compiler. Then you need to install the HTPU runtime on your Raspberry Pi. And finally, you need to enable HTPU when running the TensorFlow Lite model. I'll show you how to do it step by step. Let's start with step one, compiling the TensorFlow Lite model for HTPU. We'll take the custom object detection model that we trained earlier using TensorFlow Lite model maker and compile it for HTPU. Here I use Google Colab to show you the steps, but you can also do that on your computer or on your Raspberry Pi. You can find the link to this Colab notebook in the video description. We'll start with downloading the custom object detection model to detect the Android figurines that we train in video two. Then install the HTPU compiler. Then call the HTPU compiler to compile the Android TensorFlow Lite model that we downloaded earlier. And finally, we'll copy the metadata from the original TensorFlow Lite model to the HTPU model. Let's install the TensorFlow Lite support library and use the library to copy the metadata. The metadata contains a label file that maps the class indexes to a human readable label name. For example, it maps the class index 0 to the label Android. And finally, download the compile model to the Raspberry Pi. That's the end of step 1, compiling the model for HTPU. Now let's start step 2 installing the HTTP runtime. You only need to do this once on your Raspberry Pi. Click on the link in the video description to open the Coral documentation and follow these steps to install the HTTP runtime. Open the terminal app. We start with adding the Coral package repository to our system. Then we install the HTTP runtime.
The install now completes successfully. You only need to do this once on your Raspberry Pi. And now let's connect the Coral USB accelerator to the Raspberry Pi. If it's already connected, just unplug, then replug it. This is necessary because Coral software is required to recognize the USB device. That was the second step. Now let's move to the third step, running the model with HTTP enabled. We'll reuse the same sample app to run the object detection model as in the earlier videos of this series. If you haven't watched those videos, you can find the link to download the code in the video description. Let's start by activating the TensorFlow-Lite virtual environment that we created in the first video. Run source TFLite bin activate. Then change directory to examples, light examples, object detection, and Raspberry Pi. This is inside the TensorFlow examples repository that we cloned from GitHub. Let's copy the Android figurine detection model that we compiled earlier in Colab to this folder. Then run the sample app using the HTTP model. Run python detect.py Specify the model to use the Android HTTP model that we just downloaded and make sure to set the flag enable HTTP so that the model will run on the HTTP. You can see that the model is running at about 15 frames per second, which is about three times faster than running on the Raspberry Pi CPU. There are more benefits in using HTTP other than just the faster inference. One of them is that you can keep uh, CPU cycles for other activities like processing the output of the machine learning models. Because running an object detection model is a very computational intensive task, if you run inference using CPU, then it will be fully occupied and it won't be able to do anything else in parallel. Just for a demo, let's play a YouTube video while running inference on the CPU. You can see that the frame rate drops significantly to about one frame per second. Now let's run it on the HTTP. You can see that we can still maintain a very high frame rate at about 10 frames per second. So I hope that it gives you a sense of the benefits that you will get by using the HTTP. Now let's take a look at the code used to run the HTTP model. It's basically the same code that we used earlier to run the original TensorFlight model. The only difference is that we need to add one line when initializing the TensorFlight interpreter. This slide initializes an HTTP delegate so that the TensorFlow-Lite interpreter runs the model using the HTTP instead of using the CPU. So that's all you need to make your model run much faster using the HTTP. Coral has a repository of pre-trained models that are optimized to run on HTTP. There are post-estimation models, object tracking models, semantic segmentation models, hardware detection models, and many more. Check out the link in the video description to learn more about Coral and the machine learning use cases that Coral supports. This is also the end of the video series about running object detection on Raspberry Pi. I hope that you enjoyed the video, and please subscribe to the TensorFlow YouTube channel for more machine learning tutorials. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.